I've been down this road again, but not for a while. Um, we're in Karitabat. I think the last time we were here specifically was in November or December, although I've been to Frasia since then. Anyway, today I'm going to see a place where I, I, that I surprisingly have not seen before, which is the center of Karitabat. Don't know why it's skipped, skipping me by, but you can see that dome in the distance, and I think that's where it is, so we'll find out. You look at that sky overhead that's quite gray uh, so since December it has been the uh, dry season and today I actually do feel a couple of droplets coming down um, not anything like the thunderstorms in October but I do feel raindrops coming down and I don't know whether that is because today is an anomaly or as we get towards March if we're ending we're leaving we're ending the uh, dry season um, in any case, if it rains too much, I'll have to find somewhere to pop into, which we don't look like we have along this road right here. We are passing over a creek now, and it looks like that would be a, a really nice place to go for a walk if it had a path down there. But as it is, we don't have anything like that. So we're going to continue in this direction. So there's the church I saw earlier, and here's the plaza. And it's a nice plaza, pretty busy for a rainy Sunday. Um, in general, from what I can tell of Karitabat, it is a, Karitabat, it is a uh, wealthier place, an affluent area. Um, so you have this nice plaza, stuff like that. And the rest of the uh, town around here is like a lot of towns around the plazas here. Well, we've got some type of little amphitheater or grotto here might be a good place to hide from the rain which hasn't really started yet well this is something I don't see all the time let's test it and see if it works I think it does yes high quality good flow clean my opinion of Karitabat just improved not that it was bad before and speaking of my opinion of Karitabat, there's something I want to see just when we turn to the left. Oh, can you hear there? There is some thunder out there. I should be careful. So, if we turn and look this way, you can see there's some hills in the distance that don't have houses on them. So I don't know if that's a park or if that's just the border of the city. And that might be further away than it looks, but I am tempted to like walk and see if I can find out, but I don't think I can. But that is interesting to me. Um, we are at the southeastern edge of San Jose. So there is something in that direction. Google Maps says that's the way to Cartago, and I still wonder how the city ends there. Otherwise, I'm just walking around um, the middle of Caridabat. So one thing about Curitabat, at least in the center, is um, it is more residential and somewhat affluently residential from what I can tell. So you can see a street like this that normally, you know, near the center of town, you'd have a lot of little shops, you know, stuff like that. Here, it's just residential. And there is a lot of other commercial development in Karitabat, but it's up on the highway or at the mall plaza, that type of thing. Near the center of town, as you can see, yeah, this is mostly residential. Although, as you can see, we're back next to the square in the park. There are some businesses here, just a little bit lower key. And as usual, they don't make a lot of sense where they are. Um, anyway, so I'm back in the park, and I saw actually there's a interlinea between the Desemperados Moravia bus. We've been to both of those places. Um, so I'm going to go see. I, this is a Sunday, so I don't know how frequently that's going to be there. But I'm just going to go and sit and wait because this park is a nice little place to wait. So it's a Sunday, and the last bus went by here about 20 minutes ago. I took note. Um, so I think it's every 30 minutes, so I'll be waiting another 10 minutes. And not a problem with that. And it's before 3 o'clock. As I've said many times before, you know, on a day where I go out, it's surprising how much I can do in a short amount of time. And then I go back home, it's still early afternoon, or at least not too late in the afternoon. The only concern is there's no cloud bursts. 
So apparently the bus, the interline bus, does only run um, once an hour on Sundays. If I would have known that, I might have started walking back or taking a different bus. But at this point, only another 15 minutes to wait. I'm just kind of hanging out here in Karitabat, people playing basketball in the park, that type of thing. And for context also, um, I want to show, so if you look at this line of mountains to the east outside of town, that is the mountain south of Tres Rios. So Tres Rios is just a couple miles or kilometers that way. And uh, then if we look back this way, in the hills over to the south, those are the hills that are like Desemperados in the hills south of San Jose. That just puts this area in a little bit of context. Just wanted to point that out while I'm waiting. What is going on here? Not this butterfly who's just chilling out. But look at all these little insects. I can't tell if those are ants, if that's something else. And then over here, we have something that looks like a bigger version of that. And I'm gonna have to let that mystery go because this is my bus. So I just got off that bus here at the UCR campus. Um, been interesting today. Been to Carita Bot before. I, you know, practically live there, so I've gone through there. Last time I went in November, I think it didn't feel very interesting. And then today, you know, as I'm getting ready to leave, you know, a lot of this stuff seems a lot more interesting to me. And we have this change of seasons, so it's back to having that kind of special liminal feel. And it's another piece of showing <coughs> what this city is like. So I hope that was interesting, and uh, there will be more. There will be more.